Whenever you see an airplane flying over you in the sky, you'll notice one green and one red light along with the flashing white lights. But did you know that these external lights have a crucial role? They're divided according to three different purposes, to illuminate areas that the pilots need to see, to make the airplane more visible, and, well, to provide illumination for some other purposes. Most types of aircraft have four different types of lights. Commercial airplanes usually have more than four, but here are the ones they must have. The first one is called landing lights, and it's pretty self-explanatory, but we'll go into the details in a moment. The second type of light is beacon light, the third is strobe light, and lastly we have position lights that are often referred to as navigation lights. The landing light is steady and its main purpose is to help you see the runway clearly while landing an airplane. Landing lights, or in bigger planes, landing lights, are usually located on either the landing gear strut or under the wings. Their usage depends on airline and local policies, but usually they are illuminated on takeoff after entering the active runway and on landing when the plane approaches heights below 10,000 feet, or about 3 kilometers. The beacon light is a slow flashing red light located at the top of an airplane. The beacon light is part of the collision avoidance measures. They are recommended to be turned on before starting the engine so people around the airplane know that the plane is hot. Pilots are about to start the engines and you're supposed to get away from the plane. The Federal Aviation Administration requires beacon lights to be turned on during taxi, takeoff and flight, meaning this light stays on from before starting the engines to turning the engines off. Next are the strobe lights. All modern aircraft must have white flashing strobe lights on the rear wingtips. These make the airplane more noticeable in the night sky and are also part of collision avoidance measures, just like the beacon light. Pilots usually have their strobe lights on during the whole flight and activate them once they reach the active runway. The reason for that is because they're too bright to be used on the ground at night, since on newer aircraft, bright LED lights are commonly used for strobe lights. Last but not least, in addition to the lights every plane is supposed to have, we've got navigation lights. These are usually the first things you notice when you look at a flying airplane at night. These consist of two different colored lights on the tip of each wing. The red light is always on the left wing and the green light is on the right. These enable anyone on the ground or another airplane in flight to determine the position and direction of the other airplane. Newer airplanes also have a white navigation light on the rear tail. These lights are steady and always on, on the ground and in the air. Aside from these four different types of lights, there's a few more that commercial airplanes are usually equipped with just to make things extra safe and easier for pilots. In the first place, we have a few landing and takeoff lights that make life easier. In the middle of the nose wheel strut, you'll often find taxi and takeoff lights. Taxi lights are used during taxi rides. They have 115 volts and 400 watts of power, and the special thing about it is that it illuminates the narrow line in front of the airplane. Taxi lights are a huge help when there aren't any taxi line lights fitted on the runway. The takeoff light is even brighter at 600 watts. The pilots turn it on as soon as they receive a runway clearance. The takeoff light is automatically turned off when the nose wheel is retracted. The difference between the taxi and takeoff is that the takeoff light is only used on an active runway and its beam has a wider angle. Below these two lights, there's another pair of lights also used for taxis only. They're called runway turnoff lights and they illuminate an area 45 degrees from the center line. These help the pilots take turns while taxiing by illuminating the turn. There's another set of lights worth mentioning because they play an important role. The wing and engine scan lights. These lights are placed to light up the front edge of the wing and engine inlets. They play an important role because they make it easier for pilots to check if there's any icy buildup on the wings, which can be extremely dangerous. 
There you have it, the most important airplane lights and their meaning. Aside from these, there are also some less important lights, like one used just to light up a company's logo. Comment down below if you already know the meaning of green and red lights.